Hi, you've been asking for it and today I'm back with another installment of how to sing that song. Today I want to talk about an old classic, Bridge Over Troubled Water by Paul Simon. I love Paul Simon's voice, also Art Garfunkel. They gelled together so well and each one individually had such clarity and accuracy in their voice. So I think that is a great lesson to learn even from the original. Today what I want to do, however, is not to really talk about the original as much as about how you can tell a story and touch your audience. So do it in your own way. I'm not going to do it one to one. Also, I'm going to transpose it. The sheet music I have is E flat major. Not sure exactly what the original is. I think it is E flat major. So Paul Simon has a high voice. Choose it in your own perfect key. This is the perfect key for me. So just figure out what works for you. So E flat major, it has a intro. Big breaths is really important. And starting soft, it says rubato at the beginning, which means the tempo is very free. You kind of lean on a beat, but you're still free in your voice. When you're with it up to here. So the first thing I want you to notice is really how the microcosmos of singing is going on. I have a video about that. You can watch that for the theory part and this is the practical part right here. The microcosmos of thing singing means that even when I have those long held notes I'm not just staying on them in a very static way. So when you're weary too static when you're weary see how i'm tapering it off just a little bit at the end also i'm working with vibrato did you hear that not keeping it vibrato the whole time and i'm not keeping it straight the whole time i communicate the direction of where the music wants to flow where the forward movement is by using vibrato whenever you have a straight tone it creates a little bit of tension and vibrato creates like this moment of ah i'm relaxing just a little bit letting go so work with a vibrato feeling small again so it's not feeling small too static also, if I just did a vibrato, feeling small, too long on the vibrato. It doesn't create any, a sense of direction. Also, you do have time to breathe. So here I want you to breathe nice and deeply. When you're weary, feeling small, and also I'm not just getting on the pitches directly. I do have a little bit of sliding going on here and slurring. Very little. I'm sure I'm not doing it exactly like Paul Simon. But the point is, make it in a way to where the phrase is connected and it makes sense musically, okay? And then comes the next phrase. When tears are in your eyes. So, I know I'm gonna go up, so in your eyes. So on the in, I'm already doing a slight crescendo toward the end to where I can connect that to that high pitch. I'm preparing my voice to do it. Also, I'm preparing the listener for where it's gonna go forward. The energy increases, okay? So if I did it without any slightest dynamic change or vibrato change, this is how it would sound. It would be very static. When tears are in your eyes. Even if I did with vibrato. When tears are in your eyes. I think it's not as nice. When tears are in your eyes. Tapering off, taking a nice deep breath. Deep breath now because... 
I'm gonna have to get that octave up and go into that top note in falsetto. Falsetto is a very soft and breathy kind of head voice, okay? So, in your I do it in falsetto because on my voice it it lies kind of high. Okay, let's go on. I'm on your side. Oh, when times get so what's really important when there's an O oh or an A ah or yeah. Don't make it without meaning. You have to give it a meaning. Don't leave it empty. So it's like, I'm on your side. Oh, when times get rough. And friends just can't be found. And I did it high on purpose because in the male voice it would most likely be very high and I like it that high actually. I could probably try to do it in all chest voice but it would be kind of screamed and I don't want it to be that way. I want it to be kind of nice and bright, not too thick. I might just try it in chest voice but it gives a different sound because it's high. And friends just can't be on what approach you want to take. I like the kind of falsetto-y or more heady voice. Like a bridge over troubled water I will lay me down Like a bridge over troubled water And so on. What's really important is that you make this huge arch. Think of this huge arch that you're wanting to put across the phrase so it's not like a bridge over troubled water. I will lay me down. No, it's really, really, really long vowels, only interspersed very smoothly by the consonants. Like a bridge over troubled water I will lay me down Like a bridge over troubled water I will lay me down And so on. And then comes the second verse and then comes another verse. Let's just go to the end where it goes really high. So let's do it in chest voice first. I'm going to try it, but I'm going to have to transition into head voice when I'm up there. I'm sailing right behind Like a bridge over troubled water I will ease your mind Like a bridge And now it comes the high part for me definitely that's why I chose it in head voice but you just have to choose what works for you I'm not perfect it's pretty high it hangs around the E all the time so let's try it in the head voice approach long long vowels is really important I'm sailing right
I don't even like it in, in, in head voice, in my voice. Maybe I will just try it. See, what if I transpose it half, half a step, half a step, and then try it in chest voice without breaking into head voice. So you have to tweak those songs. And that's what I do. That is my process. Just finding what is good placement. So let's just try the half step. And I bet it's going to make a huge difference. I'm sailing right behind. It's barely possible, but the thing about this song, it has quite a large range, so you want to try out what is your lowest. I don't want to make the beginning extremely low. When you're weary. I mean, it does go up an octave, but I don't want to make it... When you're weary. I don't want to make it too low. The most important lesson I want you to learn from this song is, first of all, no one is perfect, and this is a difficult song, and you do have to tweak it just a little bit and see what the per perfect key is for you. Second of all, the phrasing, really phrasing, vibrato control, and having a sense of direction and telling the story that way. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you're going to be back next time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I have tons of how to sing that song videos on YouTube. I got one for Hallelujah. I got one for You Raise Me Up. I got one for Think of Me, Phantom of the Opera, which are some of my most popular ones. So check it out. Also, I have my Facebook group. It is to be found if you just search for Master Your Voice on Facebook. Hope to see you there. Until next time. Always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye now.